My name is Sandy Kelberlau. Um, I uh, live in Raleigh, North Carolina, um, and I have had alopecia for the last um, eight years. I lost my hair when I was 40, 41, and um, so it was com it was completely devastating. I had no idea. Um, why that would happen. My appearance changed drastically. Um, I had uh, fairly recently moved to a new city with my family and um, I had started to make, you know, new friends and new connections. And I realized later on looking back that after my alopecia developed, I just stopped doing that. Um, I stopped trying to engage with um, new people I really retreated um, back to my home. I became much more self-conscious um, and I just, uh, I, I stopped, I realized that I didn't recognize myself anymore. It was a really terrible um, thing for my self image and, and the way that I felt about myself. I didn't get treatment, but I got diagnosis quite easily and quickly. Um, my hair fell out really fast, just within three months. I went from a full head of hair to absolutely nothing. So um, that was easy. Um, but getting uh, effective treatment was a different story. There was just nothing really effective at that time um, for the severe alopecia that I had. So I didn't have any treatment um, for the first six years after I developed it. Um, and then it was uh, not until a clinical trial came up that there was finally something that could be done. Um, I feel 100% better. <laughs> I just feel normal again. So, um, you know, before my hair started growing back, um, I didn't leave the house without some sort of head covering. Um, I didn't really like wigs, so I didn't wear wigs, but I always wore a hat. Um, and, and it was kind of, it was stressful, frankly, to, you know, like to always be worried about covering up some part of you before you, you know, left the house or answered the door or anything like that. So now um, I can, I go for walks whenever I want. I, I go where I, it's, it seems kind of strange that it would make such an impact, but it really does. I'm way more um, engaged with the outside world <laughs> now, now that I just feel this sense of normalcy back in my life. Well, the number one thing I would want people to understand is that this is an autoimmune disease. It's not a cosmetic condition. So there's, um, there, there's inflammation happening throughout the body and it needs to be uh, treated. It needs to be treated like other autoimmune diseases are treated. And secondly, the impact that this disease has on people is significant. <laughs> Um, quality of life is a huge issue um, and so I would highly, highly, um, I'd be very happy if they would get it on their formulary so that everybody who is in a position like me uh, can get effective treatment.